Okay, polar buff. Much like the original buff, but the polar buff benefits from a flea section on the end, so much better for the winter months. The microfiber section is uh, the same length as the original buff, and then there's the polar tech section on that end. So it's uses. Starting off as a straightforward neck scarf, unlike a conventional scarf, it doesn't become heavy and irritable. Cold, dirty, dusty, simple face mask you can breathe through. It doesn't get sticky near it like fleece or woolly materials. Freezing cold, stuck up a mountain, skiing, snowboarding, or you just need a liner for a helmet. Pull that section up, pinch it there. This gives you a full face balaclava. No seams, no marks, no pressure points under the helmet. If you're more into beanies, turn it inside out. This time, reach through the middle and give it a light twist, a couple of inches above the fleece section. Back down onto itself, folding it back up, and it gives you a great fleece line beanie. If you find that fleece gets a bit itchy on the forehead, no worries, pull it back down, hold that section, pop it around the other way, so this time it gives you exactly the same beanie, but now it's all microfiber lined, so it can uh, wick moisture away from the forehead if, if you do get too hot. If the uh, design of the polar buff is important to you, then you just give that a twist back down onto itself, and that gives you a really nice beanie that has now four layers around the ears to stop your ears from getting cold. Yeah, only two layers of microfiber on top, so it lets out any excess heat if you get too hot. But to put that on for you, you'll see that that's just the best beanie ever. And that's a polar buff. Thank you very much.